cut to the chase, the sublimely Scottish John Hanna. John Hanna is here! <laughs> John, who didn't get to vote. No, nobody who uh, lives in, doesn't live in Scotland got to vote. No. No. Okay. So it became kind of annoying that everybody who doesn't live in Scotland started telling everybody in Scotland how to vote. I found, you know, like famous <laughs> actors in New York and LA and Marbella, not mentioning any names, but they were telling people how to vote. But what about, <laughs> what about the rest then of the Hanna clan? Because they are up there, aren't oh. they? Which region? Uh, Lanarkshire. Okay. In Lanarkshire. Um, well, I, I mean, I don't know. We never really talked about it. My sisters, and then we had a bit of a disaster with my dad on Monday, who fell down the stairs and was in hospital. So that all kind of superseded any, anything else. But really. did they manage to get to the polling stations? I don't know. You We've don't only know. talked about my dad. Well, we've got the stats for you. Well, we have the stats. Yeah, but I've actually lost them. Uh, so East Kilbride is part of South Lanarkshire, yep. and mm. um, they voted uh, a resoundingly no against independence. And I think That's from surprising. it was 45.33% was the yes vote, and 54.67% uh, yeah, was the was the no vote. Something yeah. like yeah. that. That surprises me, actually. It surprised yeah. me, to be honest. <laughs> and what about, what about um, the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon, Alex Salmond has resigned. You know, how do you feel about that? I think David Cameron would be nice of him to follow suit. <laughs> well, there you are. Well, you I think are. One of the things that we've learned about this is that 97% of the electorate in Scotland voted because they they wanted they weren't happy with Westminster. You know, all right, being together or all right, being independent. But Westminster's just really bugging everybody. You know, it's just it's corrupt, it's bloated, it's just wrong. And I just everybody, if if the if the English electorate, if the Welsh electorate had a chance to vote on a change of like what was happening and how we were governed by Westminster, I think everybody. Would would say, yeah, let's change, let's get rid of them all. Let's well, you, just dissolve the government maybe and come you up just, with a... You know, all our villages, towns, we just all go independent. Do you know, I had an idea coming in here where I thought they could just take, like, a sort of lottery where 500 random people get picked a year to become politicians. I mean, they couldn't do any worse than this lot, could they? Well, the strange <laughs> things about politics is if, you, if you're if you brand new in, in the seat as an MP, or, you know, as a member of the Academy, or even a uh, Prime Minister, you, you are following a guy or a lady who's been doing the job for four years and you've never done it before. It's it's the only time that happens in employment. Yeah, yeah. So the most experienced person's been voted out and a complete beginner uh, gets to learn on the job. Yeah, but they sort of work within the system, don't they? And what they're working within is actually having a career. And I think that's where politics has sort of lost its way. There's people in there who are having their career. They're, you know, um, they're, they're looking after their own self-interest, mm. they're self-serving, mm. they're looking after their pension. Are they really there because they want to change anything, because they want to do good? Or are they there because it's a pretty decent job to get? Look at the expenses, and you can pay off your mum's house, you can pay off your house. Well, not, not all of them. No, yes Sorry. or no, it's a shaken things up, hasn't honest, it? Though, OK, it's your so, opinion and you're entitled to it. Thanks very much. Now, in the studio tonight... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just wanted to say that. Welcome to Newsnight. <laughs> <laughs> so now, early on in the show, John said he wasn't allowed to vote, but this film would suggest otherwise. I mean, I've been inside, but uh, I haven't... I can't even make up my mind, just can't even decide. I mean, what, what are you voting for? For me or future generations? And just, you can't overthink it, right? It's like, when I go to a restaurant, Look at the menu, I make up my mind. Tiramisu. Tiramisu, tiramisu. And then the waiter comes over and I go for sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now that was Take from <laughs> last night's Channel 4 Mockery. What a decision, sticky toffee pudding. Can't go wrong with that. Can't. Where was that on the balance sheet? <laughs> now, you, you're not going to tell us, and quite rightly, it's your own private business, uh, whether you'd have voted yes or no. But would you have been in any kind of dilemma at all like that? Would, would there have been any indecision or was it a straight cut choice for you? Yeah, I mean, I partly didn't go that far, Chris, because I didn't have a vote and it wasn't uh, a, a debate that I had followed in any depth. I mean, looking at it, uh, there is an obvious sense of, like, in your heart, you want it to be an independent country. You want to be able to feel as if it can move forward and, and not necessarily be governed by, as I talked about, the corrupt, bloated corpse of Westminster. Um, <laughs> however... <laughs> we'll move wow. on to Chekhov in a moment, by yeah. now, which isn't half as dramatic as this. <laughs> oh, no, it totally... By the way, we better get on to it, cos we're running out of time. We... All right, Chekhov. Chekhov. <laughs> so, 